my name's Aaron. Welcome back to my channel. How are you? I'm fantastic and doing really well. And today I'm reviewing Chanel Platinum Egoist, the Alliance of Balance and Power. This fougere green accord has all the aromatic freshness of lavender and rosemary, heightened by a touch of petit grain. Its full heart blossoms over a virile accord of clary sage and geranium, leading to a very pure base in which the amber warmth of exotic wood lingers on. This is £61. Do we have our bottles of Chanel Platinum Iguest? Are we engaged with our higher self? Let's get testing. So I do like uh, Chanel fragrances, but it's the longevity which is always a thing for me, which I always wish it was slightly more longer lasting. As I said on the um, last review, I go into the Chanel reviews comparing it to other Chanel fragrances. This is very nice. light area has that chanel thing about it very high up is the dihydromersonal which in this aspect sells super masculine i think this is awesome actually really brilliant technical perfumery this is ambry notes uh heady own icy super and it has a raw material which is from the ambergris like raw materials to give weight and substance to a quite airy formulation. Any of the ambergris sort of raw materials can smell quite animalistic, give a bit of a meat to a formulation and combined with the dihydromersonal, quite animalistic thing to it. I think this is awesome. The top note is bergamot. I love bergamot. This is just manipulating those naturals beautifully. The petit grain, the mandarin, the lavender, the clary sage. I've not used clary sage yet, but it's kind of, this is perfect. I think this, this is all uh, singing together in perfect symmetry. All, all the notes are singing together. So it smells complete. The sweetness at the core is the glutenite raw materials combined with the acetate raw materials with some soft wood notes in it. So it's just so cleverly composed when you have the uh, fruit molecules wrapped around smooth woods against dense animal notes. Again, this is not musk heavy. And you can tell fragrances that, that aren't musk heavy because they tend to be light and airy and have no sort of metallic notes or cleanness to it. This is vibrating off the skin beautifully. I think all Chanel men's fragrances have an aquatic light airiness to them. And I think that's in all of them actually, which sort of, apart from the Blue de Chanel, that's sort of a bit different. No, even that, that has it a little bit actually, but these, the ones I've reviewed in this one, light, airy, aquatic, clean. Absolutely the musk that we be chosen would be one of the clean white musks like Galaxlide, Tetralade, Ethylene, Brassolate, one of, you know, them. But it's very clean. On to my final thoughts. I kind of love this, to be honest, I'm surprised. I kind of think of all the Chanel ones, I, I wouldn't go for the blue one because I kind of think it's kind of everywhere. I think this is 30 up, not so youthful. Undoubtedly masculine, light, airy, zonic, aquatic. Lots and lots of naturals handled beautifully. I love Bergamot, so I kind of love it. So I go for the marks of you. First two marks are safety and legal compliance. Absolutely, uh, this is Chanel, so I'd be gobsmacked and surprised if it didn't two out of two the price dead on i think it's fantastic this is uh, the only chanel that i've worn which is vibrating off my skin the others were gone but i kind of know from how it smells it's going to be gone in about two three hours what's another toilet for another toilet i think it's pretty awesome actually so i get a two out of two do i like it i love it kind of think it's awesome i love the light airy super masculine feel about it my only criticism, from a personal point of view, I'd love to see it based out a little bit, just with some sort of other things, putting it, some Java and I would have been beautiful. Some other sort of wood molecules would have just been fantastic. This feels like an up, updated 90s fragrance, but I kind of love it, to be honest. The thing I love the most about it is that sweetness at the core, combined with the sort of the animal notes, elongated, light, airy, it's vibrating off my skin. I'm going to mark it to 10. I think for the price, I think for what it is, I think it's awesome. I kind of love it. It's sort of ticking all the boxes for me. I can uh, thoroughly recommend it, actually. I think it's awesome. Very inspiring. So we love that review. Thumbs up and subscribe for more fascinating, interesting content 
lots of moving hands and lots of fragrance for you. Hope you're staying safe and well, and I'll see you soon. <laughs>